Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15 beta 2. We finally got beta 2 released and of course Apple is again continuing with their unusual schedule when it comes to releasing betas. But here we have it and of course it has a lot of new features and changes. So in this video we're going to take a look at this new beta and see more than 30 new features and changes that you will be able to find on your device running on iOS 15 beta 2. All right, first of all, let's just talk quickly about the size of the update. Now, if you have beta one already installed on your device, this should come to your device at around one gig. I got it at 1.5 right here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And of course, this will be different on different devices. And it will also depend whether you have beta one already installed or not on your device. Because if you don't have beta one, then of course, that will be a much bigger size. And here we have also the new build number for iOS 15 beta two, the new build number is 19A52 81H. This is the new build number that comes for iOS 15 beta 2. Moving on to the new features and we're starting with the settings app. Now we have share play. You go to settings, go to FaceTime settings and you will find here share play. Now Apple did introduce this on WWDC 2021 and of course it was quite a big part of the keynote and now is here with beta 2. Now by default this will be enabled. So you go to settings, FaceTime, share play, you get the button right here and this is enabled by default. Of course you have the option here to disable it if you don't want to use Use it. On the settings app, if you go to your iCloud, you will also find here that the settings of iCloud have been reorganized. Now you can see you have now iCloud backup right here at the top. You will have Keychain as well. And you have, of course, the section that are new here for private relay and also hide my email. All of these have been reorganized. And of course, Apple is trying to put like the more important stuff at the top here on the iCloud settings. Going into notifications, when you go to your scheduled summary right here, you have apps in summary. When you go here, now you will see a list of your apps and they will be arranged based on the average like notifications that you get for each app on a day. And you can of course change from A to Z there. If you wanna easier find your apps, then you will be able to find them here. And of course you have all these buttons that enable or disable scheduled summary for each of these apps. Again, both of these do the same. You just basically rearrange them to find them easier when you're trying to change their settings. When you go into focus and you go into one of your modes right here, you will find here customization. Now this used to be here before, even though this wasn't called lock screen. Now it's lock screen here with beta two. And when you go to home screen, you will notice a change here. So you have custom pages and now they have like thumbnails here, which show you which pages you have enabled for that mode. Of course you can tap the edit button and this will allow you to actually go ahead and just reorganize those pages and enable or disable any one you want. And of course, right here, once we go back, you will find turn on automatically. Now this has also been tweaked. You have like new glyphs right here and it has been a re slight redesign for the triggers of the do not disturb mode. When you go to set a wallpaper on iOS 15 beta 2, you know previously on iOS you tap here and it will basically just like hang there. And of course we thought it's just a delay but now it shows you the loading indicator basically letting you know that your wallpaper is being loaded. Under accessibility, if you go right here, you will see AirPods. Now the icon has been updated to the AirPods Max. It used to be the AirPods Pro. Now they have actually updated it. I don't know if this is good or bad. I, I think this should represent basically whichever device you have connected to your iPhone, but it now will show the AirPods Max instead of the AirPods Pro. And another setting here on Safari, if you go to Safari settings and scroll all the way down, you will see here a button to enable show color in tab bar. So if you want to do that, basically this is an accessibility setting, you can go ahead and enable it from the Safari settings. On the home screen of your device, if you use the big weather widget, you will find here a new design when showing the temperature, the highs and the lows for the upcoming days. You will see this has been changed, redesigned, and in my opinion, it looks way better. On the home screen of your iOS 15 device, you will find also a new change here. The Maps app has now a redesigned icon, which looks totally different on the home screen of your iOS 15 beta 2 device, you will find a new maps icon. Also, the books icon has been tweaked a bit. 
but nothing major that you will probably not even notice that and you will also find of course new splash screens this one is for notes so organized with tags mentions of course you can mention someone on a shared note we will get to that in a second now and you will also find a new splash screen for weather so basically showing you what's new with the weather app on ios 15 weather maps notifications which is amazing and of course the totally new redesign of the weather app as you could see there from the splash screen the notes now can be organized and basically found based on tags so adding a tag is pretty simple you just add the basically the hashtag here and just add anything you want and you can see once you do that once you have added a tag it will also show you here the tags that you already have so you can quickly go ahead and add one of these so basically just add any tag you want on a note and then you will be able to find that note based on that tag of course on the notes app but that will also work basically on stuff like spotlight search so if we go here and try to search with a tag you will be able to actually find your notes directly from here so you can see right here it shows the tag that i have right there and i will be able to actually find notes with tags even from the spotlight search on the music app there is a new option for your song so when you're listening and you have basically a list of songs here you will be able to actually move any one of them at the top real quick just by 3d touching on it you will get a new option here on the pop-up menu to move that song at the top of the list on the new redesigned weather app of ios 15 you will find here a slight change on the preview of the map here now it's much smaller and it's rounded and it looks in my opinion way way better now most users are reporting that they will be able to actually have access to the notification settings of the weather app directly from the card here even though i'm not getting those i don't know why you should see here a section that says notifications and you will be able to actually enable or disable notifications individually for each city that you have here so each card will have their basically their notification setting right here and you will be able to change the notifications for that location on safari when you go to the share sheet you will find now a new option to add a quick note even though it doesn't do anything it is there and most likely quick note is also coming to iphone that will be really really cool and of course we have changes on quick note on ipad as well i will show you that in a second so right here under your favorites you will find quick note and hopefully that will be a new option with beta 3 of ios 15. There are new options for emojis as well and you now will be able to also add clothes to your emojis so if you tap right there tap the plus button you will see now at the right there at the end you will find clothes and you can go ahead and add like different clothes and of course even customize their color directly from here so you have basically the main color second and third color and you will be able to change those colors to any color you would want and of course make your emojis way way better now another option here that you will be able to do is that now you can actually drag any of the messages that you have on the list here and put it on the message field so if i just want to send a message again i can just go ahead and drag that so let's just try this one just like 3d touch on it and just go ahead and drag it from here and i will be able to actually go ahead and just drop it here on the message section and i can go ahead and resend that message without having to type it again on the maps app you will find new animations for routes so if you just go ahead and try that you will see right now this new animation which actually looks kind of cool and of course it's a bit different from the old one so let's just wait for that to load you will see that new animation right there another thing new in maps is that now we have crash instead of accident that has been renamed with the second beta of ios 15. you will also find a change here on the lock screen player of your ios 15 beta 2 device now we have way more rounded corners and that of course to go along with the new design of the notifications also if you have one of your statuses enabled you can see right there from the lock screen you will have a change here so let's just go ahead and dismiss this so if we tap right there you can see here you don't get that like card right there at the top you will get a better design new animation and also you get a button here to quickly add a new focus directly from the lock screen 
Now what's really interesting is that I have seen reports on Reddit, iOS beta on Reddit, that fitness is showing up for people that don't even have Apple Watches. That might be a glitch or might be new on iOS 15 beta 2, I don't know, we have to wait and see for that. But the fitness app is showing on the home screen for people that don't even have an Apple Watch. Also on beta 2, Safari looks to be a bit better, now of course this has basically to get a lot of work done it's not even ready yet even for a beta stage it's not really that good but hopefully it will get better with time and of course as new betas get released but some of the bugs have been reported to be fixed and of course it should be a bit smoother now Let's just quickly move to the iPad here and we have quite a cool option. You know, quick note on iPad OS 15, basically you need to use an Apple Pencil for that. But now with Beta 2, you don't actually need that. All you gotta do is just swipe like that from the corner and now you will have the option to take a quick note without having to use the Apple Pencil. Now let's quickly talk about the performance of iOS 15 beta 2 now when taking a look at the Geekbench score we don't see like an improvement here so here we have the score for the beta 1 and we have here the score for beta 2 is actually a slight decrease on the score but we are still on betas and it's beta 2 and we will have to wait for that and see how Apple will improve this software but again performance looks quite stable in my opinion in my experience it's not that bad at all but the scores don't show any improvement. And last but not least let's talk about when to expect beta 3 and of course whether you should install or not beta 2 on your device. First of all let's just take beta 2 out of the way. If you have beta 1 go ahead and update to beta 2. If you don't have it you're still on iOS 14 just make sure you wait for the public beta if you really want to try iOS 15. In my opinion that will be the best option. Now as far as beta 3 goes we probably have to wait for a couple weeks now. I expect beta 3 to actually be released on the first week of Ju july basically we can expect it on the 6th or the 7th and basically a couple of days after that we can expect the public beta to be released probably it will be maybe on the 8th or the 7th of july so these are the dates that you can expect beta 3 and the public beta even though with how apple is doing things nowadays we can actually never know exactly or even predict when can we expect new betas to be released so that is it for this video guys, hope you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like for more videos like this, of course don't forget to subscribe to be informed of the latest features of iOS 15 and of course the new betas that will come out. Again thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you on the next one.